Right, coming up next, Valentin Radu of Romania faces Ohad Zalan of Hungary. It's Radu in the white Jodogi Ohad in blue. Fighters are beginning to warm up because there are quite a few scores now, quite a few weapons coming up. So for those of you who've just joined or those of you who are just settling down to watch the morning's judo, a little bit of action to um, accompany your, your morning coffee. <laughs> Might be an idea, a nice hot coffee to get things a bit warmed up in here. <laughs> oh, at leading by Wazari. Forty odd left to go. <laughs> Radu looking for a score. Oh, he gets one. Oh, he asked, asked for it. The referee wasn't that keen on dishing that out. Nusha uh, Lampe. But he, uh, he begged for one. <laughs> and then the judges decided, yep, yeah, okay, it's wor worth a Yuko. Hungarian coach just being asked to coach only during the mate. Right, thanks for all your messages and good morning to all of you who are just joining the uh, broadcast on this. Sunday morning. Well, it would be Sunday morning for quite quite a number of people. Breakfast time. Breakfast time and Judah. That's quite a good a good mix, depending of course on where you are. The nice thing is is that um, we can broadcast to you all over the world, and you can pick us up, join us at any time. I suppose it could be lunch time somewhere. It's got to be, hasn't it? I'm trying to think where that, that may be if you're in Uzbekistan. Maybe two men. Could be lunchtime there and then getting ready for dinner if you're out in China or Mongolia or Japan. Anyway, hello and welcome to everybody.
Another score for Radu as he looks to narrow that gap. Picks up a second Yuko. He came down heavily himself. Although he was the one who scored, he came down quite heavily. Still over two minutes to go. Oad Zalan was the, the first to score. Rosari on the board for the Hungarian and he's been backpedalling a little bit since then as Radu has tried to come back into it. Here we go again with two minutes and a little bit left to go. Radu, the force with, with him, chasing down the Hungarian. Here he goes again, left-sided. Oat beginning to look a bit uneasy. Picks up a third penalty. It's all going wrong now for the Hungarian. Head down, going to take a drop here. Desperate lunge there from Oat. I don't think he's going to make it. If there's a minute 46 left to go. He's, he's bound to commit some kind of error, isn't he? As long as Radu can get to his feet and keep attacking, then I think Oat's going to crumble. He came up with a big score to begin with, but he, he, he can't hold Radu off for much longer. Here comes the Romanian again. <laughs> oh, that does really doesn't have the energy to stay on his feet. And Radu's going to get him. <laughs> oh, that was not nice. And the crowd didn't like it either. There's another effort, but there's just too much coming from Radu. Oh, yes, good score. Well, that, that'll do. Rosario was at Ipon. Just when I thought that Radu was going to take it. Oh, that comes up with a score. Just chased him that little bit too hard. There's no defense left against that technique. And 